good morning class i hope everyone's having a great day <clears throat> i've been sick so bear with me my voice is not up to par i hope everyone can understand me <clears throat> so if i'm clearing my throat i do apologize um today i have a fun lesson planned we are going to be reading a book called the way home for wolf i'm sorry i had to cough I was saying we're going to be reading this book, <clears throat> and our focus today is on listening and speaking. Um, the only way that we can be good speakers is if we really focus on our listening skills. Um, so our focus is for you guys to exhibit proficient listening and speaking skills by answering questions associated with this book. So we're going to read this book and I'm going to ask you some questions and then I have a fun activity plan for us later on where you're going to group together and you are going to actually give a presentation. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Okay, before we get started reading, I'm going to go over some words that's going to help you understand the story a little bit better. Um, the first word is tundra. Does anyone know what a tundra is? A tundra is a large flat region with no trees because there are frigid temperatures. So it's really cold. The next word is blizzard. Can anyone tell me what a blizzard is? It is a severe snowstorm with high winds. <clears throat> the next word is majestic. It's kind of a different word. Majestic means showing beauty and dignity. And last, magical. Magical can have probably a few different definitions, um, but for the sake of this story, it means beautiful and delightful, not from everyday life, which means it may not necessarily be real. Okay, lastly, every story has a key idea, which is a central focus. That's something that the story is about, something that you get from the story. So I want you guys to really focus on the key idea from this book. Um, so you were going to focus on the characters, who's the main character, the setting, the moral of the story, um, etc. Things like that. Okay, so on the first page of this book, it says, As a rainbow of lights flickered soft in the night, dusting diamonds of ice in a desert of white, the wild whipping wind it whistled its tune to a howling of wolves and a shimmering moon. So what do you guys get from this, this page? It's talking about the setting, right? It's talking about wolves, it's talking about rainbows of lights, it's talking about diamonds. It's talking about exactly what it looks like. So that's giving us an idea of what this book might be about, right? Okay, the next page. And the loudest to ruin this echoing song was a whiffling call wolf at the heart of the throng. He loved to be fierce and longed to be grown. He liked to try everything all on his own. So who wants to tell me what this page is about? All right. It's about a wolf. It's about a small wolf. He likes to be fierce and he wants to be older than he is. Okay, so as we read the rest of this book together, I want you guys to really think about every page. <clears throat> What's our focus? Alright, did y'all enjoy the book? It's such a fun story, right? Okay, so I'm going to pass out um, some paper and some pencils. Um, get it ready for our activity. Um, I'm going to ask you questions about the book, and I want you to write them down, okay? Okay, this isn't for a grade. This is for something that you're going to use um, to do your presentation in a little while. Um, so you're going to really see how listening, some people listen and catch some, one thing from a story, and some other people listen and catch something else. So when you work together, kind of like the story at the end, you really can create something great. First question, who was the main character in the story? Write it down. What happened that caused the wolves to leave their home? Where did Wolf sleep the first night of being lost? Here we go to one of our vocabulary words. A little hint. What caused Wolf to initially lose his way from the pack? Hmm, maybe another one of our vocabulary words. Okay, the first creature to come to Wolf's aid was a sea unicorn. What terms could be used to describe her? Is a unicorn something real? What other animals helped Will find his way back? 
And what did Will say that he would do if he ever found someone who has strayed off the track? You know, that's such a fun message. I think I'm going to, um, I'm going to read that. Okay. So he bowed to the narwhal, ox, walrus, and goose, and bowed to the fox and the moth and the moose. If I ever meet one who strayed off their track, I'll help them along by guiding them back. And true to his word, Wolf is different now. And his world seems much smaller and warmer somehow. Since wherever life takes you, wherever you roam, we're all just a handful of friendships from home. Isn't that a great message? Which leads me to ask, what is the main message that you guys got from the story? And it's okay if you have some different answers. I want to hear them. I love all of these. So the main message that I get from the story is that, one, we never need to get ahead of ourselves. We need to be happy in the place we are right now. Uh, we need to be enjoying this stage of every part of our life, right? I know school can sometimes not be fun, but one day we might miss that. Um, another message that I get from this is that there's a lot of different kinds of people in the world, but we still can all work together to accomplish a greater good. Okay, so now I want you guys to take your notes. I have grouped you together. Um, there's four to five of, of you in each group. And I want you to take your notes and work together. Go over them with your group members to see what you may have caught, what they may have caught. And I want you guys to make a PowerPoint presentation using only your notes. So we're gonna see how well you listen. All right, all of these were great. So, does anyone have any questions about the lesson today? I think we really focused on learning some key ideas. I think we really focused on listening, um, the importance, because we can't find out the information that we need um, to complete an assignment, such as today, without listening. So, without listening, we can't be a good speaker. And what's the one thing we always say makes you a good reader? Practice. So, go home and practice. Read. Focus on finding the key idea. Um, do it with your brother, your sister, your mom, your dad. Anyone you want to in your family, friends. But just read. And we'll see you tomorrow.